Hi, I'm Tankfish, and I like to hide under people's bed. Welcome to Roblox Bed Wars, aka bootleg Minecraft Bed Wars for kids whose mom wouldn't buy them Minecraft. The game was originally, guess what, an exact copy of Minecraft Bed Wars, but then the devs got high on LSD while playing Fortnite, and added a battle pass, some kits, and a bunch of fest game modes featuring cracked items. Not that it's a bad thing, it's hilarious. Compared to when I first played the game when it came out, Roblox Bed Wars now is like a piece of used gym towel. It's filled with sweats. And I hate to say it, but I was getting my ass cheeks clapped by some kids when I started playing again. But then my monkey brain started thinking, hey, there are overpowered kids. I have Bobux. I can buy overpowered kids. And so I did. And I started clapping kids again. 10 out of 10. The gameplay is the same as Minecraft Bed Wars, and if you don't know what Minecraft Bed Wars is, you don't have a childhood. Basically, Bed Wars is like a real war, but more intense, and involves more parties. And it happens in the sky. Yeah. Imagine the invasion of Iraq. But instead of just US, Russia and China also wants a taste of that oil. For argument's sake, let's also add Japan or Germany. I don't know. Four teams, you know, squad. So basically, these four countries are gonna fight over resources. And there's always gonna be some war profiteers who sell sh to all of them for maximum profit. And these countries, they're gonna keep sending manpowers. So no matter how many you kill, they're gonna keep sending. Why? Because they've got a drafting center back at home. So for example, if US wants Japan out of the game, Game. US got a bomb. Y'all know where this is going. So Japan can no longer draft, you know? They no longer respawn. Their bed is gone. And now US can take Japan's resources and use it to get better techs like space lasers. Or better guns. Or better body armors. And build more bombs, you know? Get more jets. And they will get an advantage to win against China and Russia. And the last one who still have a drafting center wins. And of course this all happens in the sky. Yep, that that's that's bet worse. <coughs> Bed Wars Classic is basically watered down Minecraft Bed Wars, nothing special here. Bed Wars ranked as the natural habitat of the clan kids. They're attempting to become pro Roblox Bed Wars player. If you're ever gonna play this game mode, be prepared for sweats to drip out of your monitor. Some people sweat so much in this game mode, they transcend the law of physics. Like, their sweat will literally flow through the fourth dimension and onto your monitor. Lucky Block is for the poor people who don't have the Bobux to buy kits, hoping to to get something good from the lucky block so they can have a little taste of what being rich feels like. Sky Wars is for people who simply want violence and nothing else. They come in, there's no upgrade or economy bullshit. They just pick up some stuff and start murking people. There are also limited game modes like Penguin Genocide and 30 vs 30, where people think that other people will protect the bed, but since everyone thinks that way, no one actually does protect the bed, and then they wonder why the bed got destroyed by one guy with balloons. In most of the game modes, you can play in solo, duo, or squad of four. Playing squad without friends is like doing a group project, but no one wants you on their team. You gotta pray to Iron Jesus that you get a full team and that your teammates are competent, because you may very well be cucked and placed in the team alone. This happened to me once, in game and in real life, and uh, till this day it still gives me PTSD. Most of the items in the regular game modes are basically the same as the Minecraft one. I'm not gonna bother explaining these because I believe no one wants me to go on a rant about how wool is structurally incapable of supporting human weight. Roblox Bed Wars gotta be a little bit different from the Minecraft version because the devs know that people are gonna bitch about it and say something along the line of, why don't you play Minecraft Bed Wars? Cause I'm Broke. So the devs added some new stuff to make Roblox Bed Wars special. We got the Blast Proof Ceramic, which is basically ceramic with Blast Protection 4. Balloons you can use to airdrop terrorism on other players' base. Tesla Qual Traps, it shoots electricity at players and it can somehow do it through walls. Stopwatch. Yeah. yeah. It's rewind time. Nobody uses this shit. And that's it. And no, I'm not gonna talk about the lucky block items because I'm too lazy. The bows and crossbow are kinda overpowered. To compensate for children's skill issue, there's a trail in the game that indicates where the arrow's gonna go. However, for the people who don't have skill issues, this is like giving them aimbot. Shooting also doesn't slow you down for long, so people can just run away while shooting. Very fucking annoying to deal with, which is why I often do this. There's also an enchanting table, but the devs were too lazy to code the Minecraft version so we got this bootleg enchanting mechanism instead. You can either get fire aspect, AOE lightning damage, or 20% health instant kill. So yeah, it's actually just bed wars, but in Roblox, and kinda scuffed. 
You will run into many types of players as you play this wonderful game. First, there's the 7 years old who plays on their mom's phone and get absolutely clapped by people on PC. They can be spotted very easily as they tend to commit self not alive by jumping into the void very often. Then there's the kid who forgot to put any defenses around their bed, usually gets eliminated first and wonder why that happens. Next, we got the guy who just sits on the generator like a constipated middle-aged man until he gets iron armor, then proceeds to ask his teammate why they don't have any armors and weapons. There's the sweats who go straight to mid to clap kids and take emeralds. They're usually a barbarian, f***ing hunter-gatherers, and by three minutes they're gonna have a rage blade and gonna start wiping teams on their own. There's the imperial fists who stay behind and build fortifications. Every morning I break out of my house. Every night I break in. I do not sleep. I only repair the damage and affect my defenses. The rare team player who goes out their way to get diamonds and getting team upgrades, may God bless their soul. That guy who tries to snipe people from miles away but always misses. That guy who tries to snipe people from miles away but always f***ing hit. The Minecraft Bed Wars player who uses Minecraft tactics and techniques in Roblox and wonders why it doesn't work. The auto clicker who clicks at 20,000 3 km per hour and thinks that the game wouldn't detect that something's wrong. There's the guy who goes in and sacrifices himself for the greater good to destroy beds. In case he fails, he comes back for round two and he will not stop until either your bed gets Allahu Akbar or him getting eliminated completely. And finally, there's the boys. They've got strats, they're highly specialized, each one has a specific role to play, and they only have one goal in mind, destroy kids. The devs thought the game is too balanced and skill-based, so they added kits. They were like, well yes, the game is free to play, but that doesn't mean it's not pay to win. You still might have to steal your mom's credit card to get that battle pass after all. Kits can be obtained by spending $3.99 Bobux or through battle pass. I swear to god, YouTube is gonna caption kid as kid. <laughs> <laughs> some kids are meh, okay, but some others are kind of busted. For example, if you see someone with the airy kit, you better put on some anal creams because you're about to get raped. If you don't have a good kit, cry about it. But please, do not talk to strangers who say they'll give you free Bed Wars kits on Discord. Each kit either gives you special passive abilities or unlocks special items you can buy from the shop. You can equip the kit skin if you like their drip, and each week three random bull box kits are free to use. But then again, since they're free, everyone can use them, so what's really the point if you can't be special? But hey, if you grind your ass off, you can still get some free kits from the free battle pass. Now here's a list of all the current kits. If you're from the future and the devs added new ones, well, just go on wiki. Vulcan, Five Nights at Freddy's, but you have guns on your camera. CCP, CCP. Trinity, for people who can't make up their mind whether they want to be a team player or a solo player. Pirate Davy. Axolotl Amy. Buy axolotls with special abilities and enslave them to do your biddings. Grim Reaper. Spawn killing 101. Infernal Shielder. Good drip, but sh kit. Vanessa. Triple shot with a bow. That's it. Freya. Chasing people down like a psychopath. Wizard. When you see a wizard in regular game mode. When you see a wizard in 30 over 30. Elder Tree. Becoming fat. Archer, social distancing, get away from me. Baker, Minecraft potions, farmer, farm, chill, then show up with full emerald gears out of nowhere. Builder, brothers, we must fortify this position. Lassie, basically left for dead smoker. Melody, TF2 medic, but without a degree and is barely putting food on the table. Barbarian, pulls sores out of his ass after killing people. Void regent, you regret spending money on this. Warrior, has a VIP card at the armor shop. Fisherman, why fight when you can fish. Bounty hunter. Spend five minutes trying to find someone. Beekeeper. Playing bee swarm simulator in the wrong game. Jade. Running away. Extraordinaire. Raven. Sends literal corona. Spirit catcher. Summon Taliban ghost. Pyro. TF2 Pyro. Except more psychotic because he upgrades his flamethrower every time he kills someone. Trapper. Puts down traps. Ambiguous gender. Gompy. Yeet the ghost. Jack. Why do people take damage in oil? Aris. Give your whole team explosive of spears. Santa, committing war crimes against humanity. Gingerbread, jump pad. Really? That's pretty f***ing boring. Smoke, master flank people's bed. Yiddy, master flank people's bed. Frosty, a little bit of trolling and tomfoolery. Yuzi, Asian people when they see a dog. Airy, run. Strats in solo and duo are pretty straightforward. You rush. You basically play the f***ing game as if it's Skywars, but without the chests. Blizzkrieg the sh 
out of them. Bridging in this game is brain dead, and early game combat requires almost no skill, as all you have to do is to jump in circles and spam click. So anyone can pretty much pull it off. Here's what will happen if you don't rush and decide to camp. The rusher is gonna show up in full diamonds while you're still in iron, so good luck with that. Strats and squats are, uh, interesting, because it's a f fest, which is the reason why I like to play squat. They fall into three broad categories. First, we got the classic Blitzkrieg. Comes in two flavors. Either you and your whole team rush the guys next to you right after getting leather armors and stone swords, hoping they didn't expect this kind of f by the time you arrive at their base and that you'll be able to overwhelm them or one guy rushes for diamond sword and iron armor and go commit genocide then we got the bed assassination strat where one guy tries to sneak into the enemy's base and 9-11 their bed finally there's the brave soldiers from world war one literal veterans from verdun they do trench warfare they will lock down their base fully defended with tesla coils and ceramic on their bed and they will camp waiting for the other three teams to juke it out while slowly and surely get their gears. Even after the 20 minutes mark, when all the beds go boom, they will still not leave their base. And they will even fortify it further, just to piss people off. And they will wait, until their enemies give up on waiting, probably because their mom are calling them to the dinner table, and attack them in their own fortress. Which is clearly a dumb f***ing move. But no one wants to spend 50 minutes on a f***ing bed wars match. So here it is, they will have victory. God damn, these people got a lot of time on their hand. Pretty f***ing annoying. These are the most common strats. Or you could be with a bunch of random people and cry about their incompetency as you wonder how the f*** the bed got destroyed, even when three people are defending. Now here's what I really like about Roblox Bed Wars. The kid synergies. You know, picking kids that go well with each other. For example, imagine a team full of spirit catchers. Yeah, that sounds terrifying, doesn't it? Like, they will roll up to your base, place 20 spirits, what are you gonna do? Or I don't know, Melody doing the TF2 medic on the Barbarian, or God forbid, Aerie just spawn killing away, and then you put a pyro in the mix for shits and giggles, you know, for that 20% armor penetration, and whenever the Aerie kill someone, you can just upgrade your flamethrower. God damn, this is disgusting. Am I gonna do this? Well, too bad the kids are locked behind a paywall, am I right? <laughs> Imagine being poor. <laughs> For people reaching this point, Roblox Bed Wars is no longer a game, it's a way of life. They have sworn on their right hand that they will get all the level 50 kits. They haven't seen sunlight or touched grass for the past month. The only thing that is in their mind, Roblox Bed Wars. Spam clicks so hard they probably destroyed three mice this week and got falsely banned for using autoclicker. They're likely in the clan. They have changed their username as well as their real life identity, referring themselves as CP Alex or something. I don't know. 10% of them have tanker in their name, a god which they veneer and, uh, I don't know, offer <laughs> their bobux to. Always rolling safe with eight balloons, pissing people off as they simply just wouldn't f***ing die. They will show off their wins and win streaks on the leaderboard to their crush and get brutally rejected. I don't know man, congrats. How are you not bored of the game yet? Anyways, that's it for the video. Subscribe, like, and comment E in the comment section for the algorithm god or I will come and hide under your bed.